Good afternoon and welcome to Sweet Home California. My name is Jennifer. Please like, comment, and subscribe uh, so that you can continue to get news like I'm about to share with you today. Um, some great news. Yesterday was just heartbreaking, so I'm trying to balance that with uh, some some good news to, to share with you. Um, first off, I want to encourage you to uh, if you're on Facebook to join my group called Sweet Home California throughout the day it's just real easy for me to share different news articles that I uh, I like and I think are important and that I I hope to um, then cover when I have the time to, to do a video on um, so uh, I would recommend you go ahead and follow that and then you'll see what may be coming up uh, later on in, in videos as I have time. But anyhow, the first one I'm going to talk about is Glenn Beck's mission to save Christian Afghans. Um, I mentioned this briefly before as the Nazarene Fund, and uh, he has raised, his audience has raised over $30 million to help uh, save um, Christians that are in fear of their lives being prosecuted, persecuted in um, Afghanistan. So, um, 5,100 refugees had been flown out as of um, Thursday before um, the bombs went off. So he was able to, they were able to save 5,100 people. And that's just fantastic. But um, one of the claims he, he talks about is that the State Department basically blocked him just about at every turn. And this is just heartbreaking. And you can kind of understand why when, um, you know, the text of this story basically is talking about how he's, n what he's doing is not really a Christian thing to do to prioritize saving Christians out of a country that's 99.7% Muslim. Um, I think they're kind of missing the point. It is exactly the Christians, because they are such a small minority, that are going to be the first on the chopping block with the Taliban. So uh, I will have a link to this article. Um, it's fairly lengthy, but it's just just ridiculous. Like this one comment here says, Glenn Beck is supposedly raising money to save only Christians in a country that is approximately 99.7% Muslim. And I think that tells you all you really need to know about prominent white Republicans and conservatives in America. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Ah, oh, my goodness. But anyhow, that's a, it's still a good news story. 5,100 Christians that were no doubt slated to be killed by the Taliban are now safe in another country. No thanks to our State Department, but thanks to private individuals donating money to the Nazarene Fund. The next story I have up for you is another good news story of individuals taking matters into their own hands to save other individuals. And that is the U.S. Special Forces vets secretly rescued hundreds of Afghan al allies that were left for dead amid the Biden withdrawal. So veterans of the United States Special Forces have secretly rescued hundreds and they had uh, the coordination with the military in the airport area. So the uniformed military are under strict orders from Biden not to leave base uh, because Biden just fears the optics of like a Black Hawk Down situation. He doesn't want to see our, our military members, um, you know, be captured, which of course would be absolutely horrible. But, you know, our soldiers that are on the ground there, they want to save people. They feel powerless when they're told, no, you just need to sit here in the airport and not do anything. Um, that's not American soldiers. So anyhow, our Special Force veterans have had formed an uh, an organization that they went in because they're private individuals and they can do, you know, what they want. They're not subject to the UCMJ. But they did have the help from military within the airport as well. And um, they called the operation Pineapple Express. Um, the code word to get in was pineapple. This is all now public because um, I assume that mission is over um, since the bombings. Um, and if they continue it, no doubt they'll be changing things because they understand operational security. But um, several hundred people, um, allies, people that had worked with us, including um, their families, you know, pregnant women, orphans, um, 
you know, of, of people that our military had worked with. And this is, this is just fantastic news. I know this is the heart of America, that we want to help others. Um, we want to stand by our allies, and, um, and we're doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link to this article as well. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this, and um, if you've got any stories to tell. If, if you're a veteran of uh, Afghan, Afghanistan and um, Iraq, I'd really love to hear from you. Uh, myself, I um, am an Army veteran, but um, my, me and my husband, we left the service in uh, 1999. So I did serve for a year in Bosnia where I had, a, you know, I dealt with uh, interpreters and the local people. And um, yeah, I just can't even imagine if, um, you know, a place that I had stayed at and helped the people that they were, when we left, if they had been in danger like, like uh, the Afghan people. So anyhow, um, appreciate you. Um, watching. Um, again, please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and share, 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 and I will talk to you later. Um, thanks a lot. Bye.